Hello gamers, there are many titles and series which are critically acclaimed, whereas others just haven't received the praise they truly deserve for many reasons, ranging from bad release dates to unexpected negative reception. The games on this list are extremely well made and did not get the level of recognition they deserve. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Number 10. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Electronic Arts and DICE have had mixed results with their first-person shooters this generation, ranging from the excellent Battlefield 1 to the underwhelming Star Wars Battlefront reboot. One game that certainly surprised us, however, was Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, which made use of DICE's Frostbite engine and was developed by PopCap Games. Taking the tower defense game and turning it into a team-based third-person multiplayer shooter shouldn't have worked, but the different classes' goofy abilities and a surprisingly engaging progression system helped to make it an excellent title that never got enough attention. Playing the Garden Ops defense mode with a friend or battling it out against other players never gets old. Number 9. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Before Epic Games and People Can Fly went on to create the gaming phenomenon that is Fortnite, they worked on Bulletstorm. A shotgun blast to the face of a game, Bulletstorm holds nothing back in aspect of game design. Guns and ammo are a plenty, and a focus on kill with skill makes it a unique FPS. The focus isn't on just killing enemies, it is on doing it with style. A stasis whip becomes one of the most crucial game mechanics and is endlessly enjoyable. A foul-mouthed adventure through space, Bulletstorm deserves more praise than it got during the time of its release. Number 8. My Friend Pedro. One of the best indie games to come out in the last few years, My Friend Pedro is as stylish as it is fun. The game is the answer to fans' demands of a John Wick game. Unleash a torrent of destruction with an incredible level of control over both your weapons and your body. Twist and turn through the air while aiming both hands at priority threats or line up a perfect ricochet to drop an unsuspecting gangster from behind. My friend Pedro delivers what is perhaps the most fun shooter experience of the last decade and a game that went severely overlooked. Paired with an impeccable soundtrack, My Friend Pedro is an experience you shouldn't miss out on. Number 7. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2 received a lot of criticism for its microtransactions. Not to mention EA received a lot of backlash in 2017 for its poor Bioware release, leaving Battlefront to seriously take the hit and become a truly underrated game. When you look past this though, you'll find the gameplay and story is a work of art. Set after the events of the return of the GD, combat systems were massively improved, as was the narration which made the storytelling element a dream to follow. Its multiplayer setting was highly acclaimed for its rewarding combat mechanics, so if you're a multiplayer fan, this game is well worth the investment. Number 6. The Saboteur. Another Nazi-themed game that was highly underrated for its time. Created by the same studio that produced Battlefront, this game is what ultimately led Pandemic Studios to its demise due to poor sales and subpar ratings. The Saboteur is based in France which is under the Nazi regime, with its entire city painted in dark, sadistic colors, which only change once the swastika is removed from the area. It gives this game a truly dark sense of what it would be like to live under these conditions, but despite its gripping plotline, its TPS mechanic didn't live up to scratch, meaning gamers couldn't completely appreciate the artistic nature of this title. Number 5. Devil May Cry, 2013. A game that had ambitions to reinvent the entire franchise was panned by the audience for its complete reimagining of Dante and his personality. The appearance wasn't the only issue the fans had, Dante's personality drew the ire of the game franchise's loyal fanbase. However, a deeper look into the game reveals a far more nuanced tale than what is apparent. The 2013 reboot, DMC Devil May Cry, is one of the best games in the franchise and one that did not get the praise it deserves. It is undoubtedly one of the most criminally underrated games of the last decade. Number 4. Bioshock 2. The Bioshock games are legendary, and the original is generally regarded as one of the best games ever made. However, all of the games did decently well and have been pretty solid first-person shooters across the board. Still, Bioshock 2 always seems to be the black sheep in the family. It gets a lot of flack for being a slow starter and being too similar to the original. 
It sold 3 million copies, but that did not live up to how its publisher wanted it to perform. Bioshock 2 received solid ratings, but nothing close to the original. If this game had not carried the Bioshock name, it likely would have been better received as it is not only a worthwhile sequel to the original, but even better in some respects, with the DLC chapter Minerva's Den being possibly the greatest thing the Bioshock universe has ever produced. The fact Bioshock 2 was a sequel to one of the best games ever means it is often overlooked and underappreciated. Number 3. Mad Max. The game that has been forgotten. Mad Max is an open-world game mixing driving and hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are a variety of side quests and places to conquer, there are also races and convoys to defeat. Hand combat is a bit like the Batman games. The driving, destruction and taking over territory feels like just cause. Mad Max is a lot of fun. You must fight to stay alive in the wasteland, using brutal on-ground and vehicular against vicious gangs of bandits. A reluctant hero with an instinct for survival, Max wants nothing more than to leave the madness behind and find solace in the storied plains of silence. Players are challenged with treacherous missions as they scavenge the dangerous landscape for supplies to build the ultimate combat vehicle. Number 2. Mirror's Edge. Coming in second, as one of the most underrated game of all time is none other than Mirror's Edge. The game is set in a futuristic world in which runners, one of which is the main playable character, transit messages around while trying to evade the government, who spy on everything. The game had an amazing style, and the Parker-heavy gameplay felt fresh and very ambitious for its time. The game was so different than anything else on the market, and that in itself was a breath of fresh air, but still, it received mixed reviews, with some reviewers criticizing the level design as well as the length. Number 1. Spec Ops The Line. Spec Ops The Line repeatedly shows up on lists that talk about games with the best storylines and narrative. It is a true master class in storytelling in games, and an experience like no other. There is enough praise that can be directed towards Spec Ops The Line. Much of the gaming audience overlook the game by dismissing it as just another generic military shooter. However, the game is far more nuanced than any other in this genre and is simply one of the best games ever made. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. And if you find the video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.